So probably the number one question I get asked from you guys in Facebook messages and in messages on my videos is, Catherine, can you do more organizing videos and small space tips? Because I have a really small space I'm working with to organize. And something that I feel like I've been perfecting over the last couple of years is organizing spaces within spaces. So that means I'm maximizing every square inch. So these are just four things that I've picked out from my home that I think would be really transferable to really small spaces. So I hope you like them. So this is our dresser in our master bedroom. And these are the only drawers that we have usable space really for folding clothes. And even though I have gone through and purged a lot of our clothes, they are still very, very full drawers because they're relatively small. So my biggest um, concern, I guess, was trying to get this area, um, the space in it maximized. And I think I've done a pretty good job. So let me show you guys. Um, this is the product that I have inside this drawer. So basically, I'm effectively giving myself two more drawers in this dresser. And even if you don't have a space like this in your dresser, I mean, you could use this somewhere in your closet or somewhere else. This product is from the Container Store, and I'm gonna put a link below for you guys. But in this top one, I've just labeled it socks with my label maker, and I keep all my socks. And I don't think this product was necessarily made for, um, organizing clothes, but I think it works really well for a sock drawer especially because it's so deep. You don't really have to have things folded neatly. You just can kind of pop them in. And I also think that this works really, really well for bras. It actually kind of reminds me of like the drawers at Victoria's Secret. So you just open them up and you can kind of see everything that you have. Everything is easily accessible um, and it stores them in a way that's not going to crush them. And then I just take this, um, Ann Taylor Loft glasses case and store extra straps for like the strapless ones and stuff like that. So this is the master closet and I just wanna show you this space down here because I think these are awesome organizers for closets. I know I've showed you my catch-all basket in a previous video, um, but this is another way that I maximize my drawer space of things I don't wanna hang. Um, I'm not gonna open this one, but the first thing that I keep in the top drawer is underwear. And notice how this is like a really nice, um, narrow drawer so that way it's not so deep and then all of your underwear gets lost but you can really really see everything that you have and there's really no need for dividers or folding it i just kind of toss them in there it keeps them contained and really easy to find and then in this bottom drawer i keep my pajama pants and I'll open up this one for you guys so you can see. I've stacked everything almost like a um, filing system so I can see everything I have. My really thick pants, my pajama pants set from Victoria's Secret, and then my shorts here. Um, and it just works really well to be able to access things quickly. And this then isn't taking up so much bulk in the dresser, so I have more room there as well as in my closet. And it sits in a very inconspicuous place in my closet. If you're curious where these came from, I got them from Target several years back. Um, I will see if I can find something similar and put a link for you guys in the description if you're interested. So this is by um, the two windows in our bedroom. I got this little wall decal from Target. Um, I twit picked this a while ago. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this trunk. Um, I know a lot of us have trunks sitting around that we're not necessarily using or we've just kind of shoved random odds and ends in. But we've actually turned this into extra storage for my husband's clothes. Like I said, I showed this in a previous video, but this is what it looks like today. Um, these are his basic t-shirts. I just labeled it right here. His white shirts, his work shirts, and then all of his pants. I feel like it's maximizing the space um, and we can just change out the labels as, you know, his clothes and needs change. So I'm in the guest bedroom right now and Charlie's sitting here with clothes on top of him because he didn't want to move. That's so funny. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this. These are my absolute favorite storage bins of all time. Like if I had to say invest in one storage bin in the whole wide world, this is the one I would pick. Um, and as you can see, this is from Linen and Th Linens and Things back in the day when they existed, and they were $14.99 each, um, which isn't too bad. And I would venture to guess at Bed Bath & Beyond, they're a similar price and with their coupons, yeah. 
Um, but here's why I love these so much. And these are empty because um, we were purging and I just purged a bunch of stuff that was in here. We're gonna give all this away, making room for baby. Um, but here's why I love these so much. The first thing is they fit underneath the bed and they're on wheels. So they roll really easily, they move really easily, they're the perfect height. Um, and you can open it up halvesies. So like this, so you can just open one side. You don't have to take off the whole lid and take the whole bin out. Um, and this lid snaps in really tightly and well, and it prevents anything inside from being dusty. So if you are lacking in space, I highly recommend these for underneath your bed. They are so, so awesome.